Hello, hello, and this is Mazel Mashiach from Percolation Gaming, and today we're going to be doing our second episode of Persona 4 Let's Play. Breakfast ready! Now, yesterday we had a trippy dream where we were sword fighting in the fog, and were welcomed into the city of Inaba by our new little family. Today is our first day of school where we meet a lot of the support characters and a lot of the cast, really, and our crazy teacher. Good morning! And apparently we feast upon giant's bread. Okay. Bread of champions. Let's eat. I mean, it's like almost larger than a newspaper. Look at that. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. She's like a slave. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Certainly. I like how we don't even eat. We just kind of stare at the food awkwardly. You probably thinks it's like poison or something. Avoids it at all costs. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Seems like an ordinary day, but alas, things are gonna get all kinds of creepy. And we enter into our first mystery. Dun dun dun. And he should just be banned from riding bikes. There's something wrong with him. By the end of this episode, he becomes sterile. I like how you just always leave him in his own pain. Like, yeah, he could probably use comfort and distraction. Let's keep walking. And he looks dead. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Sounds like a good first day. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Yeah, I wish we could be a girl. That'd be amazing. A transfer student from the city. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Understandably. What's with him? Who knows? He's going through pain you'll just <sighs> never understand. All right, shut your traps. And here's Captain Crazy. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Who says that? Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Because teenagers aren't rebellious or anything. Now, I hate wasting my time. But I'd better introduce this transfer student. This awesome student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Or just go there. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. How's this guy not been fired? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Oh no, we're fighting the power. And we get courage for it. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. I'm sure I was going to be there within an hour. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Really? Like what? You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. What kind of twisted small town well, is this? What do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on the damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. I wonder what they're referencing. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Hey, shorty. Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. She wants me. 
for some reason. He's the worst, huh? Well, that's an understatement. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. It's gonna be one long year. Of all the hardships. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning. I think it'll here. be this class. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Says whiny student. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. His teeth look like a big, fluffy white mustache from here. It's kind of weird. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Why are you talking next to me? Move, I want to get up. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Oh, it's about to go down. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Make me, sir. He's seriously getting on my nerves. We're gonna Audi 5000. Oh man, it's the Popo. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? I wonder why. God, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Rumor loving student. Actually, I heard that. Knowledgeable student. These names are so silly. Are you serious? Oh, he's super serious. He would not lie. He's knowledgeable. Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? But it didn't say he was honest. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. I.E. Yes. Yes, she is. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. Probably not. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. No, I don't. What thing? Tell me. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Inform me. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. That's kind of creepy. This place is just creepy. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Time to investigate. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. We're gonna become the Japanese Scooby-Doo gang. Looks like she's talking to me, but she obviously wasn't. I didn't have a face. Hey, are you going home by yourself? That was weird. Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Dibs. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Compared to any other abrupt first Come on, meeting? don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Probe the mind of the city slicker. Understandable. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like... The way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Oh, what'd you do, bleak-looking student? 
See ya. Thanks. Better run a little faster. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> what the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon. Did she push him into the chairs or something? I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net. Ball kick number two. Uh, are you all right? Uh, Yukiko-san, are, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Harsh. Let's leave him alone because he doesn't need anything. Yep, see? Here you go. We're heartless. Whatever. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? Creepy McNasty. What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. Now nah, look at him. He has nothing to lose. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? That's kind of creepy. Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? Almost as creepy as his face. I, I'm not going. Fine! <laughs> what is with that guy? What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. I like how the pipe is tripping out in the background. Huh? Really? It's like it's having its own little rave. You really had no clue? Shh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. <laughs> Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? Clever boy. I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. I like how his name has changed. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Like seven times now. Bleak student. We're just curious is all. Cycling student. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. This is one hell of a first day. Come on, let's go. Everybody is staring. Come on, let's go. You and me both, Rave Pipe. We got this. Creepy old man with a different dog this time. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Like what? I'm an axe murderer or something? What do you expect from me? There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. There's bushes. There might be rupees. Oh, so there is something from Mount Yasagami. I I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Time to get fabulous. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Good thing she has no pride. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Kind of hate Yukiko. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. She's such a stereotypical schoolgirl character. Think that's entirely true. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Yeah, I'd rather go for you, but <laughs> there's no it. option for that. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, Did but she's really? never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Oh, come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? Does this humiliate it's your best friend It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. I think so. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. Uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but 
This is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Worst friend ever. Hey, what's that? Stereotypically shy schoolgirl. So that high uh -oh. schooler left school early, and as she came down this street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Was there a pinata? Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Just party crashers. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Well, that's kind of like a pinata, but not really. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Yeah, this is a little bit creepy. Oh, hey there. I know you. Sup, pops? Hey. What are you doing here? Nothing. Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? We didn't even see any police kind of blocking it off, so I'm what? Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Thanks for having some sort of faith in me, jeez. Who says stuff like that? Oh, way to go, rookie. Adachi, how long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? That'd probably be for the best. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Messes up a lot. <sighs> go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Canvas the area, police officer. Was this what that announcement was about? Someone got murdered. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? And what do they mean accident? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? I mean, how does someone Good idea. accidentally get tangled right, in then. there? We're taking off starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Oh no, I stumbled into the antenna and died. That seems like an accident. Definitely not a homicide or anything. Nope. Nothing to see here. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Probably not. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. This is where you change the channel. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. This is really where you change the channel. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The wife did the it. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Indeed. <sighs> the wife obviously pushed her into the antenna and she died. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. No one could predict the that. The was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. This fog is just ruining everyone's day. Or maybe it's a conspiracy. They found her on the roof? That's scary. It's not scary. She's just the undead Santa Claus. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. I hate you. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I hate you so much. Every day's great at your Juness. Don't you do it. Every day's great at your Juness. <sighs> She did it. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. That's kind of depressing. 